Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, the home of the five minute or less video. Uh, it's great to have you here with all the subscribers that I have. Uh, I try to give you the information you need from a former IRS agent. If anyone is telling you any different than I'm telling you, two things exist. Part of the possibility is they don't know what they're talking about or they're lying to you. I, I've worked over 10,000 cases. I'm an expert in all IRS resolution matters. I've been doing this since 1973, and I've been on every major TV station, including five, uh, in the last uh, th uh, three weeks. So um, today, uh, what I want to do, oh, by the way, I am available for representation and consultation. That's as much marketing as I do. Um, I want to tell you today how you determine a good tax resolution company and should you give them money on the initial call. Um, most, I don't want to say most, that's a bad word. A lot of people are ripped off by resolution companies because what they don't know is you're speaking to a salesperson. When you are calling a resolution company, ask them what their title is. Ask them if they're a former IRS agent. Ask them if, they, um, uh, if they're an enrolled agent, a CPA, or an attorney. If they're not, they're not going to work your case, and they're not going to know what to tell you. They're trying to get into your, your pocket. So you need to know that, that 95% of all companies, the people you speak to, are salesmen. They may come across like they know what they're talking about, but if you ask them technical questions, in fact, they don't. A matter of fact, a person doing your work at larger firms usually have an inventory of around 200 cases, and they're making about $500 a case. The bulk of the money is made by the salespeople and the resolution company because people uh, are looking for work, and they're happy to do work at $500. And anyone who's working for $500 a case isn't doing a very good job because all they're trying to do is close your case as fast as they can, not necessarily worrying about the result. Uh, and, and that's the biggest complaint. People call here all the time. Uh, this person did that. This person told me this. This, this person who initially uh, I talked to said this and this and this. So, so, A, do not give your money to anybody until they look at your current financial statement and give you a true evaluation on your case. And the person is a attorney, a CPA, an enrolled agent, or a former IRS agent. You're wasting your time. You're going to get ripped off, and you're not going to know the truth until you speak to the person who's working your case. I'm going to give you an example. So at my firm, uh, if you were to call me, I would want your current financial statement if you have debt. And I would find out, first of all, what your financial statement looks like because IRS is going to want that. I can't make a determination on how IRS is going to work your case unless I see your 433A. That's the form that my firm uses to make those recommendations on how the service will work your case. I've looked at thousands of these. Within seconds, I will tell you how the Internal Revenue Service is going to close your case. They're going to close it by one of three ways, either by payment agreement, by hardship, or by offer and compromise. I used to teach the offer program at IRS. Only 18,000 people had their debt settled through the offer and compromise program. So uh, you have to give IRS your total liquidity and your assets before they're going to accept an offer. So you just don't go running out giving your money to somebody. You want that person who's ever looking at your case to be able to tell you pretty specifically based on your current financial statement that they've given, you've given them um, uh, exactly how the case is going to end. Uh, we don't charge for that initial evaluation because we don't know if we can add value to you or even close your case. You have to be able to add value to a person. So when you're calling a company, make sure, please make sure, make sure you're speaking to a person who's competent, who has experience in the area, and based on the facts <coughs> of your case, how they're going to go ahead <coughs> and resolve this case. Don't give your money to anybody unless they can tell you that. You can look at their reviews. Reviews can be bought. You can book at BBB ratings. You can work different tricks around ratings. If you're going to call any company, 
remember, speak to the person who's looking at your case. Make sure you don't give them a nickel until they give you a full evaluation and ask what their title is at the firm and what are expected results based on the facts that you're presenting them. Thank you. By the way, would you subscribe to me if you would? That'd be really cool. YouTube thinks adds value if you subscribe to me. It looks like, yeah, like I'm white. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment. Subscription's great. You want me to do a YouTube on something? Go ahead and leave a comment, and if I like it, I'll do a YouTube. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time.